Welcome back to the Midlife Makeover Show, everyone. We have, hopefully I say her name correctly, we have an awesome guest, Laura Fringian. Did I say it right? You did. (laughs) So a little bit about Laura. Uh, She is a registered holistic nutritionist specializing in helping women over 40 regain their energy, yes, please, body confidence, and health. As an authority in women's nutrition, she brings a fresh and compelling approach to the health industry. She has been featured on Rogers TV, ABC, wow, that's really cool, and Medium, among other media publications, given her vast experience in nutrition. As a former corporate controller and CPA and a mother of two teenage daughters, she understands how defeating it is to feel like you're losing your vitality as you approach your 40s. Yes. She has worked with hundreds of women, helping them regain their energy, mental health, and body confidence, utilizing her proven program, the Triple M Method. Laura, welcome to the show. Thank you so, so much, Wendy. I'm so excited. Yeah. My first question for you, how did you go from CPA <laughs> to a nutritionist? Great, great question. Yeah. So, I mean, nutrition was always a passion of mine. Um, it, you know, when I was, you know, trying to decide which route to go in high school, I really wanted to study nutrition, but becoming a CPA made more financial sense. So that's what I did. <laughs> I wanted to get out of debt and, you know. Oh yeah, we all, we've all done it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then I so- did, I did it for like 10, 15 years. And it just, ah, oh, like something was always pulling at me to just study nutrition, study nutrition. And so I reached a point where I was a, a controller at a venture capital firm and the firm was winding down and I had a decision to make. I could, you know, either do this for the rest of my life or I could uh, follow my passion and follow my passion I did. And kind of, you know, the rest is really history. So um, that's, that's kind of how I came. To- Good for you. You and I are both uh, alike in that sense where I was like, finally, we just had to make the leap, right? Like we got to do this thing. Yeah, for sure. What do you find fascinating about nutrition, especially in your forties? Yeah, You know what I love? I love how responsive the human body is. Yeah. I think that's what continues to blow me away. Mm. Um, client after client, personally, like how important nutrition is we don't we don't give it the you know the weight that it deserves we just think oh food and you know especially in our culture here in north america food is just entertainment it's something to do it's your taste buds but really it's it's the answer that and movement are the answer for any root illness you know like I've had all kinds of things and clients personally reverse and all I did was change our nutrition change our mindset (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah exactly deal with the stressors and move the body and the body it's like it's like it's holding its breath just waiting for you to give it what it needs. And then, yes. it was, you know, yep. and I was think too, like, I, I feel like, and I'm sure you probably see a lot of this out there, especially on social media and on television, just because you're in the industry, you probably notice it even more. There's so many different methods and ways to do things. And I feel like today we're trying to just get back to the basics like you don't have to reinvent the wheel reinvent the body it's it's so like you said I mean it's such a magnificent uh body that it can repair it can do so much and can it can recover and it's never too late so even if you're in your 40s or 50s or 60s you can still make changes right now and you can gain back some years and gain back your health Totally. You know, I've had kids in their seventies. I've worked with my parents (laughs) in their seventies and eighties. 
And I mean, my dad will be the first to say that he, you know, sometimes he'll just say like, oh, you know, he's 82, I think right now. And he's like, I feel better than I was when I was 60. Like, oh. look at the move and he'll touch his toes. And, <laughs> you know, and my mom the same, but my dad is a little bit more exaggerated in his, you know, responses. So it's just amazing. Like, it's never too late. You're never too far gone. Yeah. That's what I appreciate most about our body. Right. And what about, what do you think it makes it so challenging when we hit our forties, when we hit midlife, why is it that it becomes more challenging to lose weight and to feel good? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it has a lot to do with our shifting hormones um, yeah. and our hormones are shifting and it's a stressor on the body. So and that like, it doesn't happen to everybody, right? You could see someone and they're like feeling amazing and they go through menopause and they're fine. And then you take yourself and you're like, what in the world is happening to my body? I feel yeah. anxious. I'm depressed. I'm gaining weight. I have whatever. Yep. And it, it really depends on your, where your body was before the mm -hmm. hormones shifted and how much of an impact it had on you. So if you mm -hmm. were in a balanced state beforehand, you were feeling great, you were doing the right things, your minerals were balanced, you had good mental health. Like I, I find trauma, uh, life, life trauma, mm -hmm. childhood trauma is a big impactor as well. Yeah. Um, but if you were in a good state before, you're probably carry on and be fine. Mm -hmm. um, or if you're going through changes, hormonal changes, and there's other life stressors, yes. there's aging parents, there's kids who are giving you, like everyone's circumstance is very different. But I would say the shifting hormones is generally the thing that tips the scales. Yeah. Um, a lot of stress. And I would think that would be challenging anyways. Let's say if everything else in your life is going really well, which is great, but either way you hit menopause, perimenopause, you're going to have some challenges. Uh, and I, yeah. And I think like those changes happen, they're, they're bound to happen, right? Yeah. It's a guarantee. You're going to have some hormonal changes when you hit your forties. But then I, I feel like too, even for me, I didn't know what was going on. I'll be honest with you. It wasn't until I started this show that I learned of the word perimenopause and light bulb went off. Oh my gosh. I was actually going through perimenopause and here it was. I thought I was super depressed. I had anxiety issues and, and I did have actually other stressors in my life, but it made it so much worse. And I wish I knew, wait, then what I know now. Yes. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> because it would have helped me so much just yeah. to go through that stage in my life and in my health so that I could feel better. So I could get actually get through some of those external stresses in my life. If my body felt good, I would be able to handle it a little bit better, if that makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I mean, at the first I heard about it was at my doctor's office. I mean, yeah. I am grateful that she said it, but at the time I thought I was too young. I was, um, you know, approaching 40 and you know, maybe mm -hmm. 41. Um, and I was really healthy. I was a nutritionist at the time. And I thought yeah. like, why? I, I felt like I was losing my mind is how I felt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, for me too, it's like, I, I've always, you know, for the most part, I eat well, yeah. I exercise, I, I sleep well, but even still, all of these things were going on in my body and I did not know what was happening. Right. Yeah. yeah. So um, tell me more about, is it the M method? Is that what you called it? Triple M method. Triple M <laughs> method. We got three M's. Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell us more about that. Yeah. So we start with hormones. So we want to get the hormones back into balance. And I often, we often can do that through nutrients. Um, so just getting the body back into balance because what we don't really know, what we don't really understand, you know, generic, you know, it's not widespread knowledge that really minerals govern hormones. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, there's, if you're low on magnesium, you won't produce the right amount of progesterone. Mm -hmm. 
So, right. you know, uh, things like that. Um, so they're so closely related. So we try to balance the hormones through foods, through lifestyle changes, through reducing the stress and managing cortisol and, you know, cause cortisol and progesterone are, you know, have a yin yang relationship. So yeah. by managing all that, we try our best to balance the hormones naturally. Mm-hmm. Um, and if we can't, there are other options that, you know, we could explore. So the first, you know, peg is really to balance the hormones. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second is work on the metabolism because the metabolism does pay <laughs> a price for the shifting hormones. So yeah, you know, exactly. Which like- can, I was going to say too, which can affect your confidence and your mental and emotional energy, right? Because you're like, Oh my God, you, you wake up one day and you look in the mirror, like what happened? Yeah. Like yeah. literally, literally mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's what happens to most of us. And it's disheartening, especially when you're yeah. doing all the right things. And, yeah. you know, I, I post about this stuff and some of the comments I get back are like, Oh, you're just, you know, making excuses for women. And it's actually not, it's yeah. like they're working really hard and it just breaks my heart because they're doing everything and mm-hmm. they're continuing to gain weight and yes. you know weight isn't everything but it does affect us yes you know it affects us especially when you know we've lived through you yeah, know the things that we have 80s 90s and you know all the stuff yeah. that comes with it right right yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, what what worked for us back then may not work for us now. And so as our body changes and we see those physical changes, then we do have to go, okay, wait a minute, I might need to reset here and make some changes to to catch up with what my body needs. Whereas maybe we didn't need that same stuff, right? In our 20s and 30s. Totally different. Totally different. Totally different. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and, and, and it's important to understand that and Mm -hmm. to be gracious to ourselves and our bodies and not beat ourselves up for it because look our bodies are going to change right it doesn't mean that the weight can't come off it doesn't mean that we have to live with the belly fat and all Mm -hmm. the other stuff it really doesn't Mm -hmm. but we do need a different approach and our bodies will change period like yeah I think okay I just want to touch on this because our, our, our bodies change. Okay. So yes. our, we get wider as, yep. as we age mm-hmm. and like bone is actually growing yeah. in our hips. Our hip bones grow yeah. and the, the clothes will fit differently and that's okay. You mm-hmm. know, it's okay to let go of some of the stuff that you used to wear that no longer fit. Thank God skinny jeans aren't in anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought these like super cute baggy jeans the other day. And I was like, yes, I feel so good and comfy. I don't even care what they look like, but they fit. I love them. So yeah, thank God skinny jeans are out. (laughs) Not for the midlife women anymore. Yeah, we're we're good. (laughs) Yeah, but you're right though. It's your body is supposed to evolve. We are supposed to evolve individually and collectively. And your mind has to evolve with it. And it's, I feel like a lot of it is acceptance. Yes. Just saying, okay, oh, I'm in my forties. Oh, these changes are going on within me and around me. Like, okay. And then you do have to kind of stop. You have to pause and take a look at that and go, what can I do yes. so that I can be at my optimal health? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I don't have to look the way that I did in my twenties, I could look and feel amazing for my forties, but understand that it's going to shift and that's okay. You know, Mm -hmm. like I just purged things in my closet that Mm -hmm. I I had held on to for a few years thinking, well, maybe. And then I came to a place this summer because, you know, they don't make them like they used to. That was my problem. I'm like, I can't find these shorts anymore. And then (laughs) I reached the point where I was like, no, uh, physically my hips have changed yeah like it's not fat it's bone yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> and you know what too you have to just own it yeah right yeah. you you have to own like and just be grateful that you have this beautiful body that's carrying Absolutely. 
your soul through life. I know that sounds dramatic, but the way I look at it, it's like a vehicle. And and in order to for that vehicle to take you places that you want to go in life, literally, literally, figuratively, whatever, you have to feed it good fuel. You'll you have to to give it what it needs. And I think after a while, I don't know, for me, I concentrated more on just taking care of myself and not so much what the mirror or the scale yes. was saying. Yes. Like, yeah. Right. Like, I feel like I'm on a mission to, to help other people like, okay, well, what does it have to do with how I look in this dress? Like who cares? Right. Yeah. It's yeah. just how I feel in my heart and in my soul and, and just do the best that I can. And I, I feel like there's, because there's so much available right now with nutrition and exercise, it can be overwhelming. I mean, I'm in it all the time and I see it. I'm like, oh, God, what do I do? And, and I just like, you know what? I just listen to my body. Like, what, do, what do you need? I need some more veggies. Cool. I'll eat some veggies, you know, <laughs> but you also, I feel like too, you don't want to overthink it. You don't want to stress your body out, right. Or stress yourself out in your body on what to do and how to do it and when to do it. Right. So uh, I think I did interrupt you on your, your triple M, but you were saying like the hormones yeah. yeah, and, and simple, but that's what I love though. It's like, it is methods like this that can simplify it, mm -hmm. get you on the right track. And then you can go on living your life. Right. Yeah. Um, so you said, uh, I apologize. You said hormones first, then what was next? Um, uh, master your metabolism. And finally it is master your intuition. You took me there. Uh, yeah. Was... yeah. You're good <laughs> because it's like, we want to get to a place where yes, there it's important to learn about food. And some people come, they don't know what protein is and what fat is and what, what fiber, what they don't know. And they learn, but at some point you just have to, through the process, what I want, what I want most is for people to learn to really understand their bodies, understand that, huh, this is what I need. I just need more veggies right now. Mm -hmm. I just need to take a breath. I just need to get off my phone and go for a walk. I need some sunshine, you know, like for us to get to that place where we really tapped into our intuition and it's not like the food log, the thing, the new diet, the new trend is going to yes. dictate what I do. It's like, no, I know what, what to do. Cause I've listened yeah. to the body. Yeah. Yeah. And you almost have to train yourself, train your brain to think that way. For to sure. tap, to tap into your body. Yes. And, uh, as a matter of fact, was it, uh, Monday's episode was on good old menopause. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the craze these days. Right. Yeah. But uh, a lot of it comes down to what do I need? What does my body need? And really just tapping into what, what you need to eat and how you want to feel and, and I think too, I mean, going back to image, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I know, and I think in your bio, it said something about confidence and the confidence, it doesn't have to be connected to the image, right? We think of it is that way. Like I'll feel confident when I look really super hot in these skinny jeans. Like, no, you'll feel mm -hmm. confident in here by doing the things that are, are best for you, not yeah. for how you look. No, it's true. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. aren't some of the most confident people that you've seen are not visually impressive, right? Like you wouldn't yes. think, oh my gosh, they should be on the okay. cover of. But they are amazing people that you just want yeah. to latch onto and be around. Yeah. Um, and it's their it, it's their energy, the yeah. energy that they bring. And then you you don't even look at what what they look like. You're just like so focused on the energy that they bring and the wisdom that they share and the difference that they make in the world. Like who cares what they look like, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. yeah. So uh, do you have, so you do, do you do coaching courses? I do coaching. Do so <laughs> right now it's uh, all one-on-one -on -one in a group format as well. So I love community. I love women coming together and mm -hmm. helping and supporting each other. So there's a big um, community aspect to what I do. But it's one-on-one -on -one coaching for and taking you through 
what your body needs. So, um, you know, I am able to run Dutch hormone panels to understand what's going on with the hormones, to look at blood work, to look at um, nutritional imbalances, hair tissue tests. So I kind of take mm. all that and build a plan and we work through it. And by the end of it, so, I mean, people come to me with all sorts of different things because all of our experiences are different. Like your hormones might shift and translate into something entirely different than how my body will respond to it. Like right. I have bloating and eczema. Mm -hmm. uh, those are not common perimenopausal, well, bloating is, but you know, eczema is not a common perimenopausal symptom. Right. But that's how my body responded to stress. So as I reduce the stress, the, you know, um, it, it disappeared. The eczema yeah. disappeared. It was like almost overnight. It was crazy. Wow. Um, so everyone's response is different. So it's kind of like dealing with the root issues mm -hmm. of what your body um, is telling you. Mm -hmm. And we do that over a course of, you know, six months. And by the end of it, it's like, yeah everyone's well and that's nice too it's tailored uh for each person's needs right and it's not so it's it's not a one size fits all no pun intended but <laughs> <laughs> a, a different plan for every body literally absolutely yeah because yeah. it's you know um our so when when you think of metabolism we think of uh, gaining weight, right? Mm -hmm. That That's what most people, but metabolism is your ability to take in food and turn it into energy. Yeah. So, you know, and signs of a poor metabolism will be, yes, a sluggish digestion, constipation, but eczema mm -hmm. and psoriasis, acne, yeah. um, premature aging. It's like, you're not able to take the food that you eat and turn it into cells healthy cells for your body. So mm -hmm. what's your metabolism? Like what's the breakdown in your metabolism and what do we need to address and fix? And right. that's kind of where, where we, where we start with each person. Um, and mm -hmm. yes, you know, it's like some of the things that we do is like learning about food and, you know, understanding it and putting it together, you know, putting a yep. plan together is, is very similar for each person, but um, dealing with some of the root issues are very different. You mentioned the beginning about moving your body. So what do you recommend in your forties for exercise? Yeah. So, um, I'd say depending on where you're at. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have like, depending on where you're, some people come to me and they're completely flatlined, meaning mm -hmm. all they want to do is sleep all the time. They're extremely yep. depressed. They're, they're anxious all the time. You can't take that person and put them in a hit class. Mm. they'll never make it yeah <laughs> yeah you, they would collapse yeah so <laughs> for them it would be very different it would be sunshine and walking yeah. if they can yeah. you know like it, it's very different or for someone who's just wired all the time and they're extremely jumpy well they need to get that energy out so yeah. higher impact class might be good for them so it's really bio individual even for movement but for everybody across the board some sort of strength training would be very important resistance training either your yeah. own body weight or some sort of weights because we do lose muscle mass. We do lose bone mass. And it's important mm -hmm. to keep our bodies strong as we yeah. age. So strong versus the skinny that, you know, we were chasing in the eighties. <laughs> I know exactly. And by the way, you look at, how old are you? Young I'm, are you? I am 47. <laughs> oh my God. You look awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah. Amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And you know what, for me, I learned that I used to be one of those crazy cardio people. Yeah. And I, I really didn't like it. I mean, there's parts of me. I liked it. I, I am pretty high energy. So you would think like, oh, I need that and get my energy out. And although it was great, I, my body didn't like it so much. And so I ended up now in my 40, well, I'm 50 now, but now like probably mid forties, I started doing yoga, doing mm -hmm. more hiking, slower, slower types of movement. Yeah. And it's, better for me. I for feel sure. like it, it helps me to kind of settle down a little bit more. And, and interestingly, I lost more weight yes. by not doing all the crazy cardio, which yeah. is wild. Yeah. And I feel, I mean, for me and, and everybody's different, right. But for me, I felt like that's what my body needed. I've always struggled. Like I have a couple of herniated discs that will probably 
unfortunately might always be there. So I have to be careful. I can't do too, and you know, but I know my body, like I have to, again, listen to it and go, okay, what do you need? Like, let's just do yoga today or let's go for a walk. But point is really just to do any type of movement, whatever you can do. If it's just taking a walk in your neighborhood, great. Do that. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So moving is important, but moving intuitively is even more important. Yes. You're so right. I had to do that too. Like I was, a, I was, a, I I actually loved it. You know, the, Mm -hmm. the cardio and whatever. It was just my thing because it was, it was fun and the class would go faster and everything would, you know, but there are signs that your body gives you that you can't. So if you feel like you need a nap, after a workout, that's your sign where it's too depleting. Um, I started to get really puffy after mm. a while, like I was yes, that's cortisol, cortisol spiking way too high, yeah. and that's definitely not good in this right. stage because every time cortisol spikes, progesterone declines, and of course, you're going to gain weight. Yep. It's just the nature of how it works. Um, and yeah, so a workout whatever it is should make you feel good. It should energize Mm. you. It should give you life afterwards. And if it's not, your body's telling you that, no, I don't like it. I don't want you to do that anymore. And you would just got to listen. It's okay. Exactly. Yeah. Drop the fear that if I don't do this, I'm going to gain weight. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I mean, and I, I'm so glad that you said that because now when I work out, I'm working out because I'm like, this is good for my body. Yeah, for sure. Not like my abs are going to look really good after this. It's just, you know, (laughs) I mean, that's a nice uh, end result if that happens, but really it's just moving my body because it's going to be better for my body when I'm in my sixties or seventies. And I think we, we have to think about those things, right? You don't, you're not just living for today. You're also like, you're living for that body that you're going to be in 20, 30 years from now. Like, are you going to be able to play with the grandkids or finally take that cruise around the world or, you know, go hiking up in the mountains? You'll have to make sure that you're planning for that future body. Absolutely. And it goes both ways, right? For the person who's kind of like, I was, I was on a group call yesterday and I was, I was talking to them. It was like, because, because movement. So some people move over move and others just are not motivated. To <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got over movers and under movers. Yeah. And it's like seeing yourself, like what's, you can't wish it, right? You can't yeah. wish like, oh, one day I'm just going to be traveling the world and I'm going to be active with my grandkids and be on the couch today, not moving at all. Like you're never going to get there just wishing, mm-hmm. right? right? Like I've always wanted fruit trees. Well, if I don't plant that fruit tree, I'm never going to have fruit in my backyard. Like it's exactly. just not going to happen. Yep. So it is having that longer vision and working towards it, baby step at a time, right? Yeah. Yep. Minutes of walking around the block if you can't do anything, mm-hmm. do it consistently. Prove to yourself that you can do it, and then yep. add to it, right? It's it's yeah. slow and steady versus the overnight, do it all, burnout, crash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then start all over again with some yes. other thing, right? I, I talk about uh, the blue zones. Have you heard about blue zones, Dan Buettner? Yeah. So I oh. talk about him a lot on the show and I watched the Netflix series last week. Um, what is it called? Oh, Live to 100. It's really, really good. It. Yeah, it's so good. Um, he's supposed to be on the Midlife Makeover show in January or February. So stay oh. tuned for that. But they did just send me his book and it's amazing. But the point I was going to make was, is that the centurions that lived to a hundred, one of the things that they had in common, they all, they moved their bodies every day, but they did not belong to a gym. So you don't have to have fancy equipment. You don't have to belong to a fancy gym. You just move your body. And you think about it. I mean, our bodies are meant to move with it. I mean, like, it's made with all these joints and muscles and ligaments. It's not supposed to be just sitting. Right. 
And I'll, even for me, where I'm sitting right now, like I sit here and I work. Yesterday, I was like working, working, working nonstop. And I was typing, typing. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's four o'clock. And I literally have not moved off of this chair. <laughs> so sometimes like I have to like ding, 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 get up, go take a walk. Yeah. I have to go do it. Even if it's just for a few minutes, just something. Absolutely. Like, yeah, this yeah. is, yeah, this is, um, this is the crux of our like that's the biggest issue we have is because yeah. our lives are so sedentary like I was reading something yesterday I think and you know we have to train our brains to just walk instead of like our brains are really well trained to just get in a car and drive right we have to train our brains to walk instead of drive and if we could just do that we will like we went to Greece this summer and on vacation I mean, it was amazing. We walked everywhere. And I think I came back leaner than I left. Yeah, yeah. A few pounds. I ate everything. I ate buckwheat. I ate everything that I wanted to eat, right? And then you lost weight. You guide me. Yeah. But I lost weight because we walked, we swam. We were just extremely active. Yeah. And, you know, like people think, oh, I have to restrict. I have to cut. I have to eat less. Well, you could just move more and it doesn't have to be running marathons. It could just be walking to the grocery store, park a little further and walk, take the stairs. Like it's doesn't have, it really, really does make a huge difference and it adds up. Yeah. So it's funny. Um, I could totally relate with what you're saying because, so I'm a French pastry chef and I trained in Paris at Le Cordon Bleu and I purposely got an apartment that was about a mile from the school. And y'all, I ate pastries every day, <laughs> way too much. But same thing, I lost weight when I got back. I was just like, I think I lost like five or ten pounds because I was walking everywhere, whether I was going to school or not. I was still walking in town. I didn't have a car, so it makes it forces you to actually yeah. walk more. And now that I'm doing the RV life thing, I'm always busy doing something, whether it's something with the RV or, you know, walking up to the store because I don't have to take the car. So it's, yeah, it, we've, we have trained ourselves, especially Americans as a society to just sit, you know, sit in a cubicle all day or sit on the couch and watch Netflix, but yeah. watch live to 100. No, <laughs> I want to get out of it. But right, it's crazy. So we have to retrain our brains to start moving again. Yeah, yeah, and just to make it a natural yeah. life. Yeah, and then if you want to strength train and add to it, go for it. Right. Right. Um, yep. Yeah. Listen to your body and its limits. Mm -hmm. Work with your limits and and do it, and um, your body yeah. will be, will thank it you for. It. Really. Yeah. Yeah. And it can bounce back. Like I was saying earlier, it's, it's amazing what can happen. Oh so cool. So where can we find you? So, um, you can find me on, uh, Instagram at nutrition her way is my handle. Um, I, my website is the same nutrition her um, I'm uh, offering a free training next Thursday. So I'd love for people to join that to, yeah, find out how, what's my title, how to lose your first five pounds, I think. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I like it. And it's, it's all about learning to uh, balance your hormones naturally through food and um, really get started on your health journey at any age. It's like, we're never too far gone. We're, it's never too oh, late. Oh, no, definitely not. So nutri nutritionherway.com. And then um, to sign up for the free workshop that's coming up on Thursday, how do you do that? Is that yeah, on the it's, website? It's it's uh, nutrition. If you go to my Instagram, you'll find it. I'll have a okay. link. And I'll, yeah, I'll leave all the links in the show notes, you guys. Uh, thank you so much. You've been awesome. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Thanks. So I, think I'll, I think I'll go for a walk. Yeah, I think me too. <laughs> <laughs> and eat some broccoli. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Thank you.